Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Whiskey, and welcome back to another episode of Cosmic Sky here on the Cosmic Sky server. IP, as always, can be down below in the description. But let's just jump into today's episode. So it is update day. That means we have a new update post that I'm going to be going through for you guys for this episode. And starting off with that, we have in this update, Science Level 19, Auto Crafters, Lost Wasteland Boss, The Plague Doctor, New Enchants, Loot Box, Sky Block Specialist, Flight Orb activation changes, Elite Undead mob nerfs, and a 30% sale going on right now. So if you are watching this and it is still the weekend, meaning it is Friday, it is Saturday, it is Sunday, because I tried to get this out on Saturdays, but you know, I, I might be early and get it Friday, or I might be late and get it Sunday. But if it's still the weekend, be sure to take advantage of these sales over on the store. The link is down below. And at checkout, be sure to use that code WHISKEY. Now, for the first thing for this update, we have science and IS level 19. So last week we got the science update. So if we just do IS levels real quick, uh, we can see that level 19 has been added and it will cost you $20 billion. That is right. I did not misread that. That is $20 billion as well as eight science gold blocks. So that is a lot of grinding that you're going to have to do, not only for the money, but the gold blocks. Like, as I said, last episode, uh, or the last update, cosmic post update, whatever, it was going to take a long time to grind this out. Like I found out yesterday, I think Gundel was telling me the first gold block was unveiled. Like somebody has the first gold block. Uh, and that was just like, uh, two days ago. Like that is outrageous. That is taking that long to grind it, but it's supposed to be a grind. You're not supposed to be able to do this overnight in one time or whatever. So what do we get for the level 19 island? So you get your spawner limit increased to 5,500. Your island radius goes up to 96 and you have the ability to place auto crafting bots. Now that is all the levels that they have given us this week. They're not going to give us multiple levels in one week, but the forum post does say that they will be adding more levels to come, but you're going to need more science blocks for that. So my recommendation is if you have that gold ore node, keep grinding them out. Set the auto miners on there, make sure they have picks, and just keep grinding that out. Keep smelting down the dust and all that kind of stuff to get your gold block so that when the next level comes, and you know, it might not be next week, it might be two weeks away or something, but you have enough to be able to level up. But this brings us on to our next point, the auto crafters. So just like we have the auto mining bots, which we don't have some, we had one somewhere around here at the island, and I don't know where it went to. It kind of disappeared on us. Who knows? Somebody might have taken it, but it's it's okay. It's whatever. But the new thing they have added is the auto crafting bots, kind of like the auto miner. You set them down and they do stuff for you. So how do they work exactly? You'll be able to feed items into these crafters by placing a hopper on top of them. And you could probably even have a chest on top of the hopper to feed into the hopper and all that kind of stuff. But using that hopper that will then internally fill their crafting inventory. So after that, you'll be able to select recipes that you want the auto crafter to look for and craft. So if you select that you want it to craft this, it will look at the items that are in the hopper it will, or in its inventory or the hopper. It will pull those items and it will automatically start crafting those for you. The order of the recipes that you'll be able to select to craft, depending on how many concurrent slots for that recipe you bought, uh, will dictate the priority in which the crafter searches for that item. For example, you'll have access to three recipes, poisonous potatoes, corrupt chorus fruit, and diamonds. You will select the recipes in the above order. So in that order, poisonous potatoes, corrupt chorus fruit, diamonds. You have them selected just like that. The crafter will search for items to craft poisonous potatoes first. Then it will search for the items to craft the corrupt chorus fruit. And finally, after all that is done, if it doesn't have any more items to craft either of those two, it will start crafting, pulling the items to craft diamonds. Once crafted, the auto crafter will eject the items out from the feet. Kind of like how the auto miners, when they mine something up, it just drops at the feet. So very much like the auto miners, you can put a hopper underneath them to pull those items as soon as they drop to the floor. It just sucks it right up. And so as we can see from what's on screen now, Eldrum has a GIF up and it looks like it's the auto crafters inventory. So down at the bottom, you see inventory there. 
I'm not entirely sure because there's not a lot on the forms that actually says right now what is what here. Uh, so I guess it's one of those things of we have to wait until we have one of these to play around with and kind of see how it looks, how it acts. But it looks like maybe the inventory is down below. So that's what fills up in its inventory. And then it pulls those items and moves it to the top and it starts crafting in that. And you see the crafts in how many seconds. So it probably like every 10 seconds pulls the items, crafts, pulls the items, crafts like that. Next for the auto crafting bots, very similar to the auto miners and the GUI of like how you can upgrade them and all that kind of stuff. These are upgradable as well. And as you can see here from Eldrum's uh, gift that he has, he goes through and cycles it. And I'm going to try to stop on each of these, but it looks like there's different things that you can upgrade on this. And just like with the auto miners, they are going to cost money. So you're going to be able to upgrade the following things. Crafting scan interval. So the delay in between each attempt to scan for available items from the available recipe pool. The minimum and what it starts at is 10 seconds and the maximum is one second. So that means every 10 seconds initially it's going to scan its inventory to search for something as long as you have that recipe selected. The maximum it can have is one second to mean every one second it's scanning its inventory. The next thing is crafted per interval. The amount of items the bot will attempt to craft each interval. The minimum is two items, the maximum is six. Hopper scan intervals. The delay that the bot waits to scan an above hopper for items. The minimum is four seconds, the maximum is one second. Hopper input amount. The amount of items that a hopper will transfer each interval. The minimum is 10. The maximum is 32. So it looks like with this one, you're not only upgrading the bot itself, but the hopper that is placed above it will have special abilities. So instead of it only pulling like as a normal hopper does one item at a time down below and you having to wait that extra tick for everything to tick down and go, it will actually start out pulling 10 items at a time with a maximum capacity to do 32 at a time. The next upgrade point is Recipe pool limit, the amount of recipes that a bot can have in its crafting pool at one time. So the minimum is two and the maximum is 12. And then the final upgradable point for the bots is inventory size, the size of the bot's inventory. Minimum and what it starts with is nine slots. The maximum is 54 slots. So what exactly can you craft with these bots? As of right now, because it does say there are more items to come, you'll be able to craft Poisonous potatoes, corrupt coarse fruit, sugar, cake, pumpkin pie, log nodes, cobblestone nodes, gold ore nodes, sticks, oak wood planks, cobblestone, iron ingots, diamonds, gold ingots, gold blocks. So that's all we have right now. But it, I mean, I'm sure they're going to be adding more stuff to this. Like this is just the, the tip of the iceberg for science updates and like what all science is going to be coming up with and everything like that. So next on the update is the Lost Wasteland boss, the Plague Doctor. So for two weeks now, in the abandoned ruins, we have had the Bandit King. And you might have noticed throughout this past week or so, especially with the updates to him being able to you or to drop science related things. So the goal or fragments and stuff like that. Uh, Adventures actually been pretty well. Like I've constantly seen 12 people or so like this. Is the first time today I've seen it like under 12. Well, now. The waste, the lost wasteland, we have a boss. So that means new things to go into the lost wasteland for and to grind the lost wasteland for. So let's look at this boss here. So in the same way as the bandit king, the plague doctor spawns every four hours unless enough elite undead are killed to be triggered. It is to be spawned as a chance that way. Uh, a notification will pop up in chat and announce where it will spawn and at which coordinates the plague doctor is a custom coded boss with some amazing abilities it will have some fantastic loot including its own armor set with a new boss tier enchant so the abilities that this boss has is poison bomb powerful aoe damage effect that lingers after initial explosive damage okay so i'm going to stop right there for a second explosive damage this is the first thing we have seen explosive damage since the start of Cosmic Sky. Like there's been no reason to have blast protection on your sets 
But I think like that's actually meaning there are going to be explosions now. So if you don't have blast protection on your sets, I'm calling it right now, get blast protection on your sets. The next ability is infect. Targets a player and infects them, causing any player they hit to possibly also be affected by the virus. On death, a legendary zombie spawns. The next ability is raise undead. Spawns two high tier undead around him at intervals. Now, if we look at what's on screen right now, it, Eldrim has a GIF of him showing off the armor set. And as you can see, this thing looks amazing. Like, I think everything has Prop 4 on it by base, uh, except the chest plate. Chest plate only has Prop 3 for some reason. Um, but that's, that's no worries. Prop 4 is not hard to get. You can just apply it. But everything that you see on the armor is four socketed iron armor. And like, if I can just look at this quick enough, it looks like implants three last stand on the helmets. It looks like on the chest plate, you have prop three, um, fire prop four, projectile protection prop two, unbreaking three, but the four socketed gear part, infectious one, shockwave five, overload three, and anti sword four. Like that chest piece is looking pretty nice then on the pants we have spiked one deathbringer three and then on the boots it looks like we have anti-axe four and dodge five the sword unfortunately doesn't look like it has any enchant gems already applied to it but it is a sharpness five sword so definitely something to like be trying to grind for and then for the loot that the plague doctor can drop it looks like it's can drop a uh, some iron enchant gems, corrupt coarse fruit uh, fragment, melon recipe, and a uh, some gold ore resource fragments, as well as a demonic realm adventure map. The next part of the update is new enchants. So the one new enchant we get this week is a boss enchant, and you can only get this from the boss. It is infectious, boss tier, max level three, and it is chest plate only enchant. A chance to spread a deadly infection when damaged. And now, just like any other week, we do have a new loot box this week. So if we go to loot box here, uh, we can go through and look at all the stuff. I also have it here, but we can look at all the stuff here that the loot box is going to give us. So we have the Universal Enchant Bundle, Fire Resistant Trousers, XP Bottle, Item Resource Page for Poisonous Potatoes, a Flight Orb, Master of Blades, Player Rank 3, Four gold ore resource fragments, mystery iron gems, a totem of undying, bulletproof Kevlar, mystery diamond gems, an item name tag. Then for jackpot loot, we have auto crafting bot, gold ore node, item recipe for poisonous potato. So I guess you have kind of like two chances to get that. Uh, model CSC Sky, player rank four, a royale loot bag, five mobs spawners for pigmen. And then the bonus items is the roots and space drinks. So if we right click on this, we can actually go through here and like look at this. So the fire resistant trousers are prop four, fire protection four, I'm breaking three, two socketed iron trouser or iron pants that have spike two and deathbringer three on it. The master of blades is a sharpness five, fire aspect two, I'm breaking three sword with armor rot four and execute five on it. Uh, player rank three, resource fragments, totem I'm dying. The bulletproof Kevlar is a prop four, I'm breaking three chest plate, two socketed with anti axe four and shockwave five. And then is there, oh yes, the model CSC Sky is an efficiency four, unbreaking three, fortune one, diamond pickaxe with haste one and gem finder three. And I think that's all the Realm Royale loot bag. Yeah, so that's that's pretty well it there. Like every week here, because I like spending money on Cosmic for some reason. I don't know why. I just do. Don't question me. I have another loot box here that I'm going to be opening. So hopefully I don't get ripped like always. But you know what? It's going to happen. But we have to make sure we're up here in the loot box opening area. Like I had a good week last week. So let's see. Oh. Let's see if this place is the reason. So here we go. Use code Gundalf. Get that out of here. So here we are. We're in the loot box opening room now. And we're just going to go ahead and it's three, two, one. And hopefully 
we get something good. Okay, so we got a item recipe page for poisonous potatoes, two of them, and the bulletproof Kevlar. Now, I'm kind of wondering, like, how much these are going for right now. Like, like if I just take a look at AH real quick, everybody's saying GG, so apparently it was good. Um, okay, 100 mil a piece is, like, kind of what they're going for on AH. I, I dig it. I like it. The chest plate, you know, I'm not, I wasn't really too... Worried about getting the chest plate, because like if I look at all the chest plates I have now for iron tier. Like I have the top of the morning, which is prop four, overload three, shockwave four. I have the crusader chest plate, which is prop four, and has dodge five, deathbringer three, overload one, spike one, and now the bulletproof Kevlar, prop four, I'm breaking three, with anti axe four and shockwave five. So I mean I I guess it's nice to have choices here. Uh, I'm not too worried, but I mean, I've just been wearing the Crusader still. Like as I was going out and doing adventures, uh, it's been protecting me pretty well. But also we have the roots, <laughs> which is just going to get thrown in PV4 with the rest of my admin items there. And, uh, I guess we'll, we'll sell these later. We'll worry about that later and go on to the rest of the update. So it looks like the next part on the update is the flight orb activation changes. Uh, so like they say always, they are constantly listening to what is going on in chat and what people are up to and like their thoughts on everything and all that kind of stuff. And I guess they've, there's been some suggestions to make more changes to the flight orbs of how they're activated because the way they were doing it, it's still kind of iffy. So flight orbs, even though they have had their adjustments already, they have made them more user friendly. Um, so it looks like not only do you need an empty hand to activate them, but you will also need to shift while doing it. This should hopefully cancel out like those issues that people have been having uh, when building and flying and it running out or something. I, I don't know. I, I can't honestly tell you guys because I don't use it. I have top rank, so I have fly unlocked and I when it comes to this stuff for the flight orb, I'm just, I have to kind of look at the forms and be like, okay, interesting. But what I do know is now you have to have an empty hand and you have to shift in order to enable flying while holding the orb on the island. Next part of the update is elite undead mob nerfs. Uh, so it looks like the elite undead in the lost wasteland now have considerably less HP than before. All right, guys, and the final thing for the update this week is a 30% off sale going on right now on the service store. So if you're wanting to buy anything for yourself, for a friend or whatever, be sure to head on over there and buy it this weekend while the sale is going on. And while you're there, you know, and you want to help support a creator, you can always use code whiskey or you can use any of the other content creator codes while making that purchase. But guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions about the updates or anything like that, feel free to drop a comment below. Ask me questions. I will try to answer them to the best of my abilities if I miss something or whatever. Or even if I have to poke one of the admins and be like, hey, what's this actually mean? How do we do this? Kind of stuff like that. Drop it down below and I will do my best to respond. But guys, until next time, I will see you when I see you. Bye.